go. So this is quite the eventful tour portion, so bear with me as I go through the highlights. First, Abraham is met by three men who report to him that in a year, Sarah will have a son. Unsurprisingly, Sarah is surprised at the news given her old age, and so she laughs in response to which God is dismayed. Next, Abraham argues over whether there should be destruction caused to Sodom and Gomorrah for the sake of the potentially innocent people left. Then the people of Sodom attack Lot's home, and while Lot and his daughters are able to escape the city's destruction, Lot's wife is turned into a pillar of salt. Then, out of a desire for offspring, Lot's daughters become pregnant with Lot's sons, who go on to become the founders of the nations. The story continues as Abraham announces that Sarah is his sister, meaning that Sarah can marry the king of Gerar. In the final verses of the story, Isaac is born, and then Hagar and Ishmael are, have to be sent away, where they nearly face death, but then are saved by an angel. And last, but certainly not least, Abraham is tested by God when he is instructed to sacrifice Isaac. And so there's certainly no shortage of action in this Torah portion, so of course there's no shortage of lessons to be learned. And so briefly, I'll just say that I think the Torah portion asked us to consider how we look out for others and ourselves and how we seek justice even amidst instances of evil. We all have our voices and I think this Torah portion calls on us to raise our voices both when we find ourselves in need of support like Hagar and Ishmael are and also when we see others in need of hope and relief such as Abraham's appeal to God to save Sodom and Gomorrah from destruction. As we are tested by life's inevitable challenges, though hopefully never as bad as God's test of Abraham and the portion to sacrifice Isaac, I think this Torah portion is a call to think critically about our actions and responses so that we can best support ourselves and our communities, even when doing the right thing is challenging and seems more difficult. Shalom.